Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, it's been months and months since I've been able to record a video. I uh, found myself on a four-day weekend and just decided to to give it a shot. Uh, I look like a, a mess right now because it's uh, June 17th in Midwest America right now, Kansas, and it's 95 degrees outside but feels like 106 because of the UV index. And I tried to cut the grass at 3 in the afternoon, so it was hot. Uh, that's okay, I'm recovering, got a glass of water, and I probably won't have a heat stroke while I'm recording this video. Um, but we got like a, a lot of things to show you guys, uh, probably an episode's worth of just showing you things, but um, we'll see what, what we get done today. Uh, first off, you can notice I got this dope, dope skin. Um, it's a Captain America skin, uh, super atypical of me, but I really like it, and I was just using like the default for forever because my old skin that I've had for like a decade now uh, got dropped. I don't know how, but whatever the transition from Minecraft.net to Microsoft and all that good stuff, it just got lost. No surprise there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a take a little sleep here and, and get through the night, and I'm gonna get back here and show you what I got going on. Okay, so first off, you probably recognize that we're in a room that you've never seen before. Um, I think the last video I made, I left off on telling you guys that I was going to start building the kind of main castle that uh, I was going to make, like kind of my per permanent part of the the castle where I would reside, um, or my player would, obviously. And uh, I did that. I did where I told you I was going to do it, and then. It was like one of the most hideous things I've ever built on Minecraft, and I've been playing for a long time. It was pretty just garbage. So um, I redesigned it, and uh, this is this is what we got. So uh, this is the top level of it. I'm gonna just pop down here um, and maybe show you from a different angle and see if you can figure out what I did. Okay, it's a pretty good angle. Pretty good angle. Um, so yeah, you can see that I, I pretty much doubled what I had had for the entrance to the castle here, um, and made it into an actual building. So yeah, uh, I love it. I think it looks sick. So I'm just going to take you through it. We got basically three levels uh, and there could be a fourth down lower when, and if I decide to do that. But uh, let's pop into it and see what we've done. So first thing I did was I, um, obviously that's not going to work, right? Because why would it, right? When I start filming, uh, it's got some kinks to it. But that's because I'm not a big redstone guy, but uh, it's got a gate. So if you go out of it here, you just run through it and then you can close it back up uh, and then I can come back. So it's kind of a last switch logic. Um, not perfect, but whatever. I don't know much about redstone. Um, so I had to install a gate, right? Because I think you guys were all tracking this, but the point is to have villagers that kind of live in this castle instead of out there, uh, in my, uh, actual village, uh, because of pillagers and things like that. And what's the point of having a castle if I can't protect the people that are inside of it or outside of it. So that's what the gate's there for, to keep them there. But I didn't want like some weird door system or fence system for an opening this large. Uh, the pillars have gates and things like that. Um, but yeah, so this is the, the interior of the castle. Uh, I think it looks pretty freaking sick, right? I've got this like large spiral staircase that you can go up to the second level. Um, it's all connected and, and kind of an open space. So this is the bottom of one of the towers and these towers, the four towers here are identical. Um, and then you come up here. Uh, I got some recessed lighting in the ground. Uh, I'm going to put some some chandeliers with fire in here at some point. Uh, and then you've got these other kind of workspaces with these cool balconies that you can look down through and you can obviously access the, the other heights of the tower, the levels, and then you can get all around the outer wall, the wall here. Um, so yeah, so this is the, the castle. And like I said, it's just kind of this roundabout piece that you can access the entire building. Then you come up here, you get some more rooms, uh, two, one identical on the other side. And then you come up this ladder and you're onto the top floor, which is where kind of my bedroom and, and treasure room will be. So kind of an in interesting design. I've got this real open design with like lots of windows that are uh, nice and airy and you can access the tops of the towers and everything like that. Um, no change to a lot of what's going on out there, except a big change there that I'll kind of fill you in on in just a second here. So 
let's give you the next little bit of the tour. We'll come out to this this part of the balcony, and you can see I've done a lot. We got a building there, a building there, uh, some more buildings down here. <clears throat> see if we can see those. Yep. Um, super interesting. I did something over there and it doesn't look like it's saved. Okay, anyways, coming out of that. Um, and then I've got another building over here. Uh, and you can clearly see a whole lot of villagers walking around. So, this is what happened. Um, I had just started recording a video and obviously I think you guys all remember the plan was to bring all of the villagers from the outside village there into the castle and start building them kind of places that they could call their own and were related to their professions. Uh, right, but literally like as I was doing that, pillagers showed up and I think I had just gotten this trident all decked out. Maybe I don't really remember this months ago and um, pillagers showed up and I decided like, yo, I got this super BA, tried it now, I'm going to fight off the entire pillager like levels and waves and all that good stuff. So I did, I won, I beat the, the raid. However, they killed every single one of my villagers. Um, like literally everyone. And I was like, what do I do? Because the whole point of building this castle was to bring the villagers inside of it and I've got none. And so I knew of a village um, a, a couple chunks away, a couple's uh, a generous term, quite a, quite a ways away, and I built a rail system all the way out to that village. And I scooped up every single villager in that village. I made a whole video about it, but my, my Yeti wasn't um, recording any audio, so there's like nothing. Uh, it really sucked, but it took hours and probably days of me like trying to coax these guys into mo mine carts and then to get the mine carts onto the main track that came them brought came and brought them all the way back to the castle. So that took a really long time, but I finally did it and I went ahead and started making some buildings. So let's go ahead and show you the buildings that I've made thus far. So this is the first one that I made. It's a, a tower with a... Um, armory and blacksmith shop on the side so there's two beds for each of the villagers that work in this building so this is my weapon smith that's what the guy is yep uh, none of these guys have been leveled up but you've got your typical uh, tools that they need necessary some blast furnaces here and then a really cool like hearth that uh puts smoke all the way out of the top so i, I kind of really like that feature there um you can see it just come out of the top there okay and then coming down into the towers this tower doesn't actually have multiple levels that i can access but it does get you into my new um, underground like storage and mining facility. Uh, you can remember I was using a little cave out in the old village, so I wanted to keep this, the, the same theme going. Um, but the reason that I did this, and you, I'll tell you why there's another portal. That's a, a small glitch. Don't worry about it. Um, so this is the room that I made, and, and I'll tell you about the another portal in a second. But uh, the, the floor has got some kind of lava in it with like flowing lava down into it. it it's, I think it's like a pretty cool design. I've got all these lanterns hanging around, and obviously the kind of dark... Um, whatever you call this stairway, I don't, I don't know, I don't want to take up too much time trying to describe it. I don't even think that I've told you guys about these blocks that I discovered, but that was came out in an update, and I didn't even realize that that was a thing in Minecraft, but it is, and it's just nuts, the amount of stuff that I've done since I last recorded. Um, but anyways, so this is now my storage room for all, all things that you can get while you're mining, essentially. Um, okay, so... I unknowingly, so I built that, that room, the, the, the building, right? And then I, I tunneled all the way down here and I started building this room. And as I'm doing that, I actually like broke into the tunnels that I had been using for strip mining because this is at Y level 16, as you can see, because um, I was going to tunnel from here. And so I broke into those strip mines. I was like, oh my gosh, like those strip mines have gone so far because that's quite a ways away from this actual spot. And uh, I was like, well, I don't want to just make tunnels all over, like, the area here. And, and this is, like, literally probably where the wall is outside of here is where those tunnels stopped. And it's just completely by coincidence. And I hadn't reached the kind of under part of this castle area yet. And I didn't want strip mines running all underneath. And so I created this nether portal, which links up into my nether system. Uh, so it brings me back to that same location that we've used before. Uh, those guys are going to start shooting at me, but... 
Uh, if I just keep going off in this direction, I'll reach my new strip mine. It's quite a ways away. Uh, I'm going to run through it real quick so you can see how far it is, and I'll speed it up on the actual video. Okay, so that's it. Uh, it's quite a walk, uh, but it connects to the same tunnel or uh, bridge system that I use there to get to the nether part, the, the end portal. So it all links up and I'll, I'll kind of revamp this area. But it took me straight to a ravine where I started strip mining at Y level 16. That's why I had the portal down there because it brings me right to a Y level 16 area. So you can see I had these strip mines. Um, they were, I don't know, they were over here. Oh, yeah, so I was mining at Y level 16, and then I, I realized that I was finding diamonds, like, at Y level 14, or what are we at now, 12, and so I came down here, and I started finding more, and I've created a lot of strip mines where I've gotten stone, uh, and etc., and then I've got some more that branch off now, and they go down that way, and they'll go down this way as well, as soon as I start making that one, um, but anyway, so this is, like, the new part, right? So last time I had really been strip mining in Minecraft was a couple updates ago, and it stopped at like Y level zero, right? You'd hit bedrock. And so one day I was trying this trick that I had found on YouTube to get you to diamonds. It's, it's kind of ridiculous from the overworld, kind of like a pinpoint location of where diamonds are going to be every time. And I mined all the way down as far as I could go. And I got into, so we're going to come down here now, this layer, right? This is all natural spawning uh, black rock or something that it's called. Um... Anyways, and it's the caves and cliffs update, and it generates these massive underground caverns. And so, yeah, I just mined all the way down here, watched a YouTube video, I'm going to get learned up on them. And, and I found out that this is now the correct level Y-57 that you should be strip mining at to find diamonds. So it's really great. I find a lot more diamonds in, in regular ore this way, um, like a lot more diamonds. Um, which is great, and I love this this black rock and the texture and what you can do with it with these stones and the the um, actual bricks that I use in my my own castle now. That was a really weird sound. Um, anyways, the only bad part about it is that that I don't get stone anymore, so I, I keep using um, the the other strip mine up here uh, to get more stone. So I'm gonna head back to the castle and I'll cut you guys back in when I get. There. Okay, so we're back. Um, this is kind of my my current diamond. Uh, storage suit, as you can see, right, all I had collected before was 64, 2, and, uh, 32 diamonds, um, and then from just strip mining that little bit that you saw, I've gotten, like, 29 more, uh, of these deep slate, that's what it's called, deep slate, not black rock, but it looks like black rock, so I call it that, uh, anyways, diamonds, and so it's a really good source of diamonds, now the new thing is the netherite armor, and that's a whole nother video, because it's, like, a pain to get netherite, but that's the goal, so we're gonna do that, I'm gonna borrow one of these guys' bed real quick, and uh, take a take a short nap, and then we'll be back. Okay, so some of the other buildings that we've made, right? So I made that one uh, for my weaponsmith and my armor, and then I came over here and I made this building. So this is for my librarian, right? And uh, I think the last video that I put out, or I didn't put it out because it was one of the clips that I I um I had tried to record and it didn't it didn't record any audio. Anyways. Um, I have this dope trident. I love using it. It's what I fight monsters with now. Um, but unfortunately, like, I don't want it to break, right? And, and it's so hard to get more tridents to just slam them together in a um, anvil to remake the trident uh, that I realized I needed a mending book. So I looked up all these ways, and, and it basically it said that you couldn't enchant. I enchanted like 30 books, which was a lot of levels, a lot of books, a lot of lapis to try to get a mini book. After all of that and it's not working, I was like, there's gotta be something else. So I looked it up. You can only get it from, it's like a treasure book, essentially. So then I was like, what's the quickest way to get treasure? Desert temples, uh, dungeons, X, Y, Z. Um, I went fishing. I fished so much, guys. Like three hours of fishing one day. I got a ton of cool stuff. Saddles, uh, books, um, armor, you name it, tools but no mending books. So then I'm like, what is going on? So I look up again, you can't get it from fishing. Ridiculous. I have the most overpowered fishing rod. It's like Luck of the Sea 3, um, the one where it makes you catch really quick. Um, I'm, I'm like blanking on all these terms because it's been so long. But anyways, so then I'm like, well, literally what do I do? And this was right around the time that I lost my pillagers. So I uh, lost my villagers to the pillagers. So I went to this new village and um, literally this librarian that was there and I clicked on him and the 
first, like his original trade amending book. I was like, this is this is a sign. Yeah, like this is fate. And so uh, he was the highest priority villager, as I like to call him, my my number one guy. So I got him here first, um, and it's it's a it's a great deal. Thirty two emerald, which may not seem like a great deal, but I can get emeralds quickly, right, by trading things like paper, books, X Y Z, you name it, uh, to get to get mining and he also offers infinity so this guy's like a really overpowered villager so i built him a really nice library um oh don't want to trade with you so this is his library it's got a really big tower with really kind of nothing but a skylight but that's okay and then he's got his his books so one of the cool techniques that i found to build libraries was to use these looms um as empty bookshelves right because they look identical so i think it gives it a really cool touch the only bad thing is that uh, it made this guy into a, a shepherd, um, which is okay. I think he's going to be a villager that I use to get emeralds. I don't, I don't really care. I've got a lot of villagers that can take professions, and so um, that's that's fine. So yeah, so I made this building for them. Okay, then the next thing that happened. Uh, I don't even know if I recorded this either because uh, it's been so long. But I got three skeletal horses during this crazy uh, lightning storm, thunderstorm that was happening outside of the base here. And, and I kept them all. And uh, they're pretty useless. They don't have a lot of health or anything like that. And they're not very fast, but they look really, really cool. So um, I built this stable. I've got my two donkeys, the three skeletal horses, and of course Blackjack. Um, and I think it's, it's a pretty cool, uh, easy little stable. So... Yep, that's that one. And then the most recent thing that I built here uh, was my windmill, right? I really love this. I wanted a farmer. I think it's just a cool part of a castle. It takes up a good amount of space, and I think it looks really kind of visual pleasing. So I, I built this windmill for our farmer here. There's not much to his, his home. He's got a little table and a chest where I, I keep a hoe to keep the wheat going if I need to help him out, and then he's got a bed. So more to come here, but he's got an upstairs area uh, too. Um, where he can manage his farm and look out into the castle and things like that. So, a uh, cool little spot. It was more really just a kind of a, a visually pleasing um, <clears throat> build, and and that's that. So, yeah, that's uh, that's kind of the entirety of, of what I've been working on. So I've got the castle here. I think it looks really cool. It's it's kind of this giant piece. It really didn't take up too much of the the actual castle. I think it looks really cool on the inside. It's got a lot of use. I'm gonna move my enchanting table in there eventually. I've got, I'm going to have a treasure room and things like that, so I think it's cool. Another thing I did, which is what I noticed when I started this video, which is really, really strange, and I'm about to kind of investigate a little bit, was I built this super long bridge the other day uh, that looked really neat, um, and I got a lot of stone. Like, I prepped. I did a lot for this video, um, and, and those things are still there, but... but the bridge is not so I'm kind of confused I'm gonna do some research into that but I built a bridge to the other side there and that's gonna be kind of something that comes back because I think it's cool right it's kind of hard to get up to this area and I think the bridge to the across the little moat here is gonna be a cool piece so let me show you my my fishing stuff I have so many fish um, this wasn't even like the treasure I got power sweeping edge piercing loyalty three power four fire protection four curse of vanishing that's pretty bad right I can't use this book obviously and another one uh curse of vanishing got all these bows with all this stuff on it a mending bow of flame power four this one stacked flame mending unbreaking three power four i just need uh infinity on it and this bow is going to be like super op but yeah this is um all my things have of mending on them my my fishing rods this one's a luck of the c3 lure three and unbreaking three and i'm going to throw mending on that as well and this one's just straight mending so i can probably just throw those together so um, anyways, like crazy just amount of stuff that's been happening. I'm really confused on my bridge and why I don't have it anymore. Uh, so I'm going to actually go and look into that pretty soon here. But, um, but yeah, so I don't know what else we're going to do in this video yet. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Let me just check to see if, if I still have all the stone and everything that I got from the last video. Because I, yeah, I still have all the wood that I collected and all the stone. Man, that's just like super strange that the bridge isn't there anymore. I, I've got an interest back. Um... That's just so strange to me. But anyways, yeah, let me know what you guys think of, of the castle and, and how it's coming together. I'm going to make some more buildings for uh, some of these guys that uh, have professions as a mason. I'm not sure, not sure if I'm going to keep them as a mason yet. You can change their jobs if you didn't know that by providing profession blocks. And like this guy, as soon as I release him and he walks around and he realizes that there's no... Um, whatever this profession needs, the block that gives him the profession. Once he realizes that it's not in the castle, he'll drop his profession and give him a new one. Um, and then all the guys with purple vests on or brown vest, 
they can take professions. So I've got three more that are able to get professions. Four, there's one that made his way down there. Uh, one's going to be a fisherman for sure. I'm going to make that area into a nice little fishing spot. And that was part of the, the bridge design. Um, and then this is the only one that I have that's just going to be, you know, a friend uh, that living in the village. The village idiot maybe uh, <laughs> that, that can't take a profession. So I'm going to make some more buildings for these guys around here. And then I'm going to make uh, a little marketplace right in the center for everybody to kind of congregate at. And I think it'll be a, a nice a nice little spot. So uh, more to follow that. I'm going to go look into that, that bridge disappearance weird thing there and then we'll get back to you. Okay, so I'm going to start just rebuilding the bridge that I had made here. It's pretty pretty simple bridge. Um, just extends right through my gate here, and it's got these wooden pillars uh, every couple of blocks here that, um, well, you'll you'll see why I got them. I don't even know what I'm looking at, the camera or whatever. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, and move these through here, and then I'm going to come back to you guys once I'm done, and, and we'll see how I kind of step it up and give it a little bit of a, a design. Okay, so I finished my bridge again. Um, I think it's a little bit of a different design than I had last time. Let's see where a good, good shot of this bad boy is going to be. Um, it's okay. It's nothing like incredible, uh, but it's got, you know, a decent design on it. It matches the rest of the castle, so I'm, I'm a fan of it. Uh, it just connects me to this piece of the land here instead of having to kind of swim through to it. Um, I'm going to finish the villager's hut over here and try to stick a villager in there, and then we're going to call it a day. So it's, uh, it's nighttime and we're back, but it's nighttime for a reason. So as you can see, I finished the little bridge area here. Uh, nothing crazy. I think I already showed this, but, uh, yeah, so I finished the bridge area and then I finished our fisherman's hut. Uh, it's kind of a, a different design. Uh, I don't think there's going to be any good way for me to show it to you, but, um, it's got a little pier that goes out and I'll show you the rest of it. So I connected it to the bridge here. It lined up pretty well. So you just take a fence to get to it. And the reason I gotta have all these fences and gates around is so that I, my villagers don't escape and get into any danger or anything like that. So this is a weird little turnaround that I got. And I'm gonna go the other way because I got a villager down there. So uh, we've got some crates. I might replace those with barrels since this is uh, a, a fisherman's hut and, and I, the barrel is the fisherman's block. Uh, I got him a little bed here and then um, his little pier. So we're going to show you how this works. So I've got his profession block and I've got a bed. So now I'm going to take away. There you go. He just got made a fisherman because his block is there and he's going to go to sleep. So that's that. I'm going to go ahead and sleep and then get back down here and we're going to see what our fisherman is. Our fisherman is awake. He's in his little hut. He's exploring and we're going to see what he's got to offer. So for 10 coal, that's pretty interesting. I can get an emerald, which is a great deal because coal is so abundant. Um, and then I can trade an emerald and some raw cod for cooked cod. That's a pretty terrible deal because you can just cook cod super easily. So I might throw some furnaces in here too so I can cook my fish out here. But uh, I've got all my fish here. I'll probably make a, a separate chest for each fish. I've got a treasure chest uh, that I'll probably move and then I didn't even think about that. But that's a good point. I can't use those. So I'll have to doctor that up a little bit. But uh, yeah, so I think that's going to about do it for this episode here. We've got uh, our fisherman's hut done. Like I said, it's kind of a wacky design. Um, but I, I like it all the same. I think it's a neat design. It looks pretty structurally sound. Um, it locks this guy in here so he can't escape. Sorry about that, bud. You're going to be kind of lonely. I might bring you uh, a friend one day. Um, but other than that, yeah, and then we got our bridge that goes straight across to the, uh, the other piece of land out here, um, which we can expand. We can put some villager housing and things like that out here if I so choose. Um, another thing that happened while we were recording, and I, I think now that I'm recording, of course, he's he's not going to be here anymore. Um, let's see. Oh, oops. Uh, yeah, he looks like he's gone. So we had the, the traveling villagers show up, which is pretty cool. He showed up, he spawned right in the middle of my castle here. So that's neat. We've even got some trade routes set up. Uh, so yeah. Cool deal, we've got uh, three villagers left to give professions, and I don't think I've chosen necessarily what professions I want them to have yet. Um, and then this guy, who we can change his profession or we can keep him as a, a mason, but uh, I'm going to take another look at the villager professions and we're going to see what we can do from there. So uh, yeah, that's it for this episode, guys. Let me know what you think about all the progress we've made on our uh, castle and on the new fisherman's uh, hut and everything like that. And uh, thanks for watching. Sorry it's been so long, but like I said, Work's been crazy. Life's been crazy. Getting married in two weeks here. So uh, things are happening. So uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. It's been Phyllis there. Like, subscribe, and comment for more content.